special interest group again this year. Um, yes, you can. All right. yeah, thank you very much for introducing and uh, thank you very much for being at this workshop today. I, I hope you enjoy Bobcat so far. I think it's uh, been two marvelous days of its 20th anniversary. Um, today we are doing a workshop from the IFRA New Professionals Group, the New Professional Special Interest Group. And I'm here with four other people. My name is Sebastian. Over there we have Dasse, Dasse, Sanita, Chiara and Dirk. And we are we five are today representing the NPSIG, and um, we are having some kind of introduction for you where we want to let you know what is NPSIG or NPSIG all about. But then the more active part, workshop part. But we will come to that a little later. So first of all, I would like to start by giving you some insight about our group, about the work that we do. Um, so if we talk about new professionals, we mean uh, a broad variety of people. So new professionals can be students on the one hand, NIS students, but also people that already graduated from their course, from their studies, and started to work in, li in the library world. So it n not has to be um, related to the age, to your age. So you could think, and some people think, that new professionals are young professionals as well. That's certainly the case in most of the cases, but you could also be a new professional with being 45 years old because you did something else before and then did your studies in NIS or something else. Um, and in this tech cloud, you see a couple of uh, really uh, common themes that um, we are dealing with as the SIG in our programs and what we are doing on site and online. Mm -hmm. And these themes maybe also are really um, familiar to you, like um, I bring it to the other slide. Like, uh, for example, uh, networking issues or problems that you may face uh, while entering the profession during the, your first job, during job hunting and so on. Or you maybe um, have already been um, involved in some kind of mentoring, peer mentoring or something else. And these are some of the um, missions and goals um, that our group has within IFLA. Um, I sh I'm sure you already heard about IFLA, the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions. And within that huge um, global organization, there are a lot of sections um, covering all aspects of librarianship. And um, under these sections, there is another group of, uh, of working committees, which is called Special Interest Group. And we are one of these special interest groups for new professionals. And one of our main goals is to represent um, the, goal, uh, the interests and the needs of new professionals at IFLA and to provide a forum there to talk about these issues that you have seen on the other slide. Um, another really important thing for us is to recruit and actively involve new professionals in the work of IFLA because IFLA, as every other library association, really relies on new, fresh people with different backgrounds, new thoughts, um, and this is one of our goals as well. And on a more general um, level, we would also like just to give people the chance to, to experience things like conferences, uh, workshops, um, because um, as you might know, uh, it's really hard to imagine how conferencing feels like if you haven't done that before. So we give them the chance to do that and we want to whet appetite to go to conferences and to do networking. And um, all that happens, um, within a pretty open frame. So, um, in fact, there are only two people that are officially elected within the NPSIG. This is Dirk as the information coordinator, and this is me as the convener of the group. But all the other people, they are, um, like, we are also voluntary uh, uh, people. We do our work voluntarily, uh, on a voluntary basis, but all the others, they, well, they come from all over the world. They don't have to be IFLA members to get active in our group. So this is a really good benefit of special interest groups at IFLA. You can take anybody to work with, and um, especially when it comes to new professionals, this is really, really an advantage, a benefit, because you might not be able to come to IFLA conferences, but you might be able to uh, join one of our online uh, activities, for example. So this is a small roundup of what we are doing and what it is all about regarding NPSIG. And now, I think it's... Uh, and we will start in the future to the world, if like then, 2012, in August this year, before IFLA, today before IFLA. 
And there we will have a bar camp organized, and you are all invited, of course. And it's very interactive. All participants get to do something like today, later. And here you see some pictures of this year's uh, conference in sunny Puerto Rico here. We have a nice beach. And we have some nice conversations called the Global Library this year. And uh, then further into the past, we have last year at Bobcat the new professional workshop. And these are some examples of what the people did. They draw some nice shapes and then presented their findings. And we got a nice group picture, like hopefully today. So that's what we are doing in the real world. And now we're looking at the virtual so, world. In virtual world, we are collaborating. We are not living in one country. Dirk and Sebastian is from Germany. Sonica and I are from Latvia, Chiara from Italy, and so on. So we need a platform for collaboration, and we are using several social networks, as Facebook, we are using blogs, we are using uh, wiki pages, and you can all join our wiki page and contribute there, and also we are tweeting, and a lot of things. And also, as you notice, Zek is filming our session, and this session will be available on our YouTube channel. And you can see this is print screen of uh, 2011 in Puerto Rico session, where you can see these presentations which were given then. And quite new activity is a webinar, which is uh, created uh, together with uh, another eco section and ALA. And it happened in January, and we all participated there. There were around 70 mm -hmm. participants, mm -hmm. yeah, and three presenters. And we were listening uh, via web the presentations about new professionals, about benefits of new professionals, what, what can we do, what our associations are doing to benefit for us. And I'm inviting you to participate in next webinar. It's a quarterly webinar and it's for free in um, April. So you are all welcome there. Yeah, so this all sounds very exciting, but you may be wondering why am I supposed to do it? Uh, which are the benefits of getting involved internationally? Well, there are at least four main benefits. And the first one is access to a rich personal and professional networking. Nowadays, the uh, importance of, network, of networking can't be stressed enough. You can do it through social media, you can do it in person, but it has become a must. And, the sec uh, and it's also very important to get a personal networking going on. So you can share your experience, your frustration, your enthusiasm, and still it's very <laughs> valuable. So, a second main benefit is the training of personal and professional skills. And um, yeah, it is, again, nowadays crucial to keep abreast in your professional skills. And doing it internationally is really important and valuable. And a third one is inspiration for your daily work. Uh, I can give you an example. Yesterday I was talking with, um, <coughs> with a girl from Germany. And we just figured out that we were doing almost the same thing at two different institutions. So we started to talk like how you deal with this, how you did that, uh, how you gonna to do these things. And it was really valuable for me and I can't wait to go back and just put in practice what I discussed with her. And the third and the fourth um, in benefit, which is the last but it's not really the least, is the impact that you participate in, that you will have on the wider LIS profession. I think that it's um, that contributing to our community, professional community, should be something that we should all uh, buy in and to participate on that.